Hello everyone and welcome back to Zeklit Educational Channel. So in this video we are on a rapid revision for the UGC NET Environmental Science Examination. So this is very important because in less time you will be able to know more questions. No need to go deep inside the concept. So if you want to know more concept you can comment me in the comment section. So get ready with your note to note down the correct answer. Let's start today's video. So we are dealing with these questions. I, I hope you have tilted your mobile into the horizontal position which will be easier for you to know the question. So let's start today's question. So the first question which we are going to deal today is a classified sewage can be treated using aerobic oxidation pond method. So this is the statement given already. The question is which two types of organisms are complementary to each other during this process that is during the treatment using aerobic oxidation in the pond method. So they are algae and bacteria. So option C is correct which I have already marked. Next is dash is used to know the settleable solids from the wastewater. So here the correct option is Imhoff cone. So don't get confused between Imhoff tank or Imhoff chamber. So it is the Imhoff cone. So it is a cone shaped thing where it is having the settleable solids it used to be separated from the wastewater. So the correct option will be Imhoff cone. Coming to the next question, question number 3. Analysis of polluted water for dissolved oxygen and free carbon dioxide will show the following pattern. So if we are analyzing a polluted water to know the dissolved oxygen and free carbon dioxide, what we will get? We will get higher carbon dioxide level and low dissolved oxygen because all the oxygen will be consumed by the organism and the carbon dioxide will be more because it is a polluted water. Let's move to the next question, question number 4. So this is a rapid revision, just we need to know the answer in order to learn more questions in less time. The question is restriction fragment length polymorphism method is used to study what? So here it is used to study the genetic variation between the species and the name of the method is restriction fragment length polymorphism. So this is coming from the genetics part also which is a specific portion in the UGC net environmental science syllabus which is not clearly mentioned but sometimes the questions come. Let's move to the next set of questions. Questions are on your screen. I hope you are noting down. Question number 5. Stenophagic and urephagic terms are used with respect to what? So phagic means phagocytes or something which is related to the eating, food habit. So sten are the terms related to the food habits of the organism. Let's move to the next question. Next question is removal of rags, floatable grit, stick etc in the wastewater treatment is called as what? So they are the things which are removed in the initial stage of the wastewater treatment. So they are the preliminary clarifier. All the water, wastewater is clarified which is cleared which is free from the rags, floatable grit, sticks and all the things which are seen through the naked eye. Coming to the next question. Diversity of habitat over the total landscape or geographical area is called as what? So here it is telling total landscape or total geographical area. So large area it comprises of gamma diversity. So alpha, beta, gamma diversity very very minute difference but you have to know. So here if it is asking about whole area it is gamma diversity. If it is between two species or something then it is called as alpha diversity. Next is the pioneer of zero shear are what? So zero shear is a kind of succession which takes place in the humid condition that is the sandy area so where the water is less so there the pioneer species the initial organisms are the lichens. Coming to the next question. Next question is biologically the richest region of the world is what? So it is having both different varieties of flora and fauna rich in the biological diversity it is Indo-Malaya region. Option A will be correct. So it is also one of the best region where we can found different number of endemic species. Next coming to the question number 10 I will clear all these things. Question number 10 is natural ecosystem depends upon what? 
सो इट डजेंट डिपेंड अपॉन एनिमल प्लांट और वी ह्यूमन बींग्स इट इज अ सेल्फ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम बाय द नेचर्स ओन प्रोसेस दैट इज नेचुरल इको सिस्टम let me remind you about the mock test series going on for the solid revision for the uju cnet examination so this is about the three mock test for paper 2 and one mock test for the uju cnet paper 1 with answer kit will provided it is simply rupees 129 rupees so let me remind you it has to be paid on 88950 number and you have to just share the screenshot of the payment through the zaclit account or email id given here and you will get all the mock test link and appear as per your convenience time coming to the next set of questions question number 11 question number 11 is an animal that feeds on plants and also on animals is called as what very simple chocolate question even school child can answer it is they are omnivores both they are eating on plants and animals coming to the next question next question is eco mark of indian consumer product what is the eco mark it is earthen pot so earthen pot is the symbol of the eco mark in indian consumer product coming to the next question next question is which of the following states have highest waste land and they are rajasthan and madhya pradesh they have the highest waste land and from common sense also you can identify because rajasthan it is having the larger area madhya pradesh is also having a very big area so the more the area more the waste land next is question number 14 question number 14 is international agency that adopted rehabilitation of the displaced ones due to construction of dam etc is called as what so this is related to the people when they are displaced from one place to another because of the construction of dams and other environmental process so they are world bank it is the agency that adopts the rehabilitation of the displaced people coming to the next question next question is ambient air quality standard for sulfur dioxide it is asking about so2 ambient air quality in the ecologically sensitive area specifically in micrograms per meter cube so it is annual average it is asking and the correct option will be option number b that is 20 microgram per meter cube is the limit as per the air quality standards which you should also remember it is very frequent last question and it is also there in our telegram group the proper list you have to remember the important ones sulfur dioxide is also one of the important one coming to the next question sets question number 16 regulation and management of consent to establish or operate is done by whom it is done by spcb that is state pollution control board in order to regulate and manage the consent to establish or operate anything anywhere so it should be taken from the spcb that is state pollution control board question 17 provision under article 48 a of the constitution of india deals with what so it deals with the protection and improvement of the environment so as per 48 a the state is responsible to protect and improve the environment and article 51 yes article 51 there we have the responsibility to protect our environment coming to the next question question number 18 method of treatment and disposal of domestic solid waste is called as what it is called as compost plant so bio compost which we make it is a method of treatment and disposal of domestic solid waste next question is best suitable technique for the separation and quantifying the impurities in drugs is called as hplc high performance liquid chromatography this is the technique of separating and quantifying to know how much amount and to separate all the impurities found in any drugs and hplc is mostly used for non volatile solute which we already discussed in the cpcb video also so next thing is least soluble compound in nh4oh that is ammonium hydroxide is what it is agi silver iodide it is least soluble in nh4oh let's move to the next set of questions question number 21 which one of the following has the strongest ionic bond so the strongest ionic bond is in between h and f f is the fluorine highly electronegative so it forms a 
strongest bond with the hydrogen. Next question is oxidation state of manganese in KMnO4 is what? So this is a technique to find out the oxidation state. I am not discussing here, just I will tell you manganese here oxidation state is plus 7 in case of KMnO4 that is potassium permanganate. Next is number of valence electrons in carbon is how much? It is 4 that means it has tetravalency that's why carbon is called tetravalent. So it is having four number of valence electron. Next is number of electrons present in H plus is how much? So it is zero. Yes, this is the concept thing. If you are clear with this thing, you will hit the correct option. So in H plus ion, it is zero number of electrons are present. Next thing is most electropositive element is what? So here among the four options, cesium is the most electropositive element. Coming to the next question, next question is half life of a substance is 4 hours, 2 gram of the substance will be left with the following amount after 12 hours. So here it is asking how much amount of substance will be left if initially it is 2 gram. So after 4 hours how much it will be? It will be 1 gram because its half life is 4 hours. So let me clear this and explain you. So here the thing is it is telling some substance is there initially it is 2 gram its half life is 4 hours that means in 4 hours it turns to 1 gram but it is asking after 12 hours so let's see after 4 hours that means 4 plus 4 8 hours it will become 0 0.5 gram again 4 hours how much it will become it will become half because it is the half life is 4 hours so half of 0 0.5 is 0 0.25 so 0 0.25 gram will be the correct option so this simple maths you can do it easily. Let's move to the next set of questions. Next question number 27. Question number 27 is Paris Climate Deal which was adopted on December 12, 2015 is effective from which date? So it was adopted on December 12, 2015 Paris Climate Deal which is not down but it is affected from it is effective from November 4, 2016. So nowadays it is asking proper date also so you should remember November 4, 2016. Next is law of thermodynamics. The question comes from there. First law of thermodynamics states what? It states that energy is always conserved. So it is neither created nor destroyed. It is transformed from one form to another. So it is conservation law of conservation of energy. That is first law of thermodynamics. Next is the composition. The mean molecular of the atmosphere remains almost unchanged up to a height of how much kilometer? So from ground level if you are going till 80 kilometer, so here option number C will be correct, till 80 kilometer the composition of the atmosphere remains almost unchanged that is mean molecular composition and after that it changes because of the change in temperature and pressure. Coming to the next question, question number 30. The inversion layer near the ground is common during dash in North India. So here inversion layer, what is inversion? Inversion is a situation in which when we move up from the ground, the temperature increases. Yes, usually what happens when we move up, let it be mountain or if you are moving from the ground, the temperature will decrease. But in case of inversion layer, the temperature will rise up when we move up. So it is asking when it happens it is common during dash in north india north indian region where it when it is common it is common in case of early winter in the early morning in the winter when we move up in the atmosphere we will have more temperature so this was the rapid revision which i wanted to share it with you all so i hope you have noted down and these were very simple question i hope you have learned something new don't forget to subscribe the channel exactly to get all further updates see you guys in our next video till then keep smiling and believe in yourself